So this week I had the privilege of testing out the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier Watch. It is the Bluetooth version and I got to see how it affected my daily life. So from the unboxing to my final thoughts, let's get started. The unboxing was uninspired. It felt like cheap cardboard and kind of dampened my enthusiasm. See, it doesn't do the Frontier justice. The Frontier screen's premium. The unboxing, well, not so much. Now, the Frontier itself has a nice weight to it. The materials, the finish, top notch, and even has the movable bezel, which is an ode to luxury watches, though they use it to keep time, and this uses it to help navigate the smartwatch. Now the first feature I tested was the alarm. I set the alarm using command with the S voice and it woke me up just fine. But more important is that I was able to sleep through the night without being woken up. It was comfortable to wear. Now I also use the daily reminders. I don't use them on my computer or my phone. They're just not convenient. But when it's on your watch and it comes up, it's convenient and effective at reminding you to say, feed the dog or take care of other tasks throughout the day. So the part that you're probably all wondering about, can you make phone calls with your watch? Do you need headphones? No, you don't need headphones and it works just fine making phone calls. However, it, oh. Hey Joe, what's up? Uh, we're filming like as we speak. <laughs> I'll call you back. See? It works. Now it does get a little bit awkward if you're in a public place and you have to pull it up a little higher because it's too loud. But in general, if you're say reading a book at home or in a quieter place, it's not a problem at all and the call works just fine. And the text messages work great as well. You get a notification on your watch and you can actually respond directly with your watch. So if it's a text message, all you need to do is send a short reply or if it's a cacao message, you can use a canned response or an emoji to send a message back to your friend. So the news app was surprising. I didn't expect to use that one very much, but if you're in a crowded place like the subway, or even if you're in the confines of your own home drinking a morning coffee, the news app is very convenient, simple to use. All you have to do is scroll through the articles, and when you're looking through it, find one you like, click on it, and if you like the blurb at the beginning, you can just click show on phone at the bottom of that blurb. So the watch is water resistant. That means you can go about your day and not worry about it when you're washing dishes, when you're taking a shower, or just washing your hands. It's also good for exercising. So it connects to your S Health application on your phone and it allows you to take advantage of the heart rate monitor on your watch, the step counter, the amount of calories you burn, it's an estimate. But for me, it's all about the running because you can put music directly onto the watch and as long as you have some Bluetooth headphones on, you can go on a run. However, if you want to take messages, phone calls, or track distance during the run, you will need to get the LTE version of the watch. So let's go ahead and wrap this all up. There's some positives, there's some negatives. Let's start with the positives. First of all, it did help with my productivity. There were a couple times while working where I got a time-sensitive email and I was able to respond to it more quickly. Also, battery life, more than two days. This is the longest of any of the smartwatches now on the market, so that's a big plus. Also, very intuitive, very simple to use. Look, it's not four fingers, two fingers, five fingers swiping. It's bezel, button, touch. That's it. To the negatives, the apps. There's not enough apps there. I wasn't satisfied with that, but it's not necessarily Samsung's fault. We have to wait to see how the market plays out there. Also, the price. The price is at that level where it makes you hesitate. 
It's a luxury item, but it's a practical luxury item that does make you more productive. So all in all, I was impressed. It's a good watch. It's a good smart device and it's cool. It is. So if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and like to get more videos like this from T-Slug. I'm Alex. Have a good one.